Alrighty guys, welcome to the channel. Welcome back. Um, today, we are going to be working on painting the figures that we stripped last week. So, that's what we're going to be up to. Um, I'm getting the introductions now. Uh, it's been a couple day process. It's going to be a couple day process because I don't know how well I'm going to do. You're going to see me mess up. I'm probably going to paint really wrong and make a bunch of mistakes on 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 the ends um i'm looking at both figures right now so this is the orange stuff because he has the comms on his head so he's the one that had the orange stripper um some of it as you can see got into let's pull the light over Hopefully you can see that. Uh, some of the stripper got into there and uh, hardened out with that. Uh, I'm pretty sure I can like get it off with my finger now. Uh, that's what it did to the screw. So as you can see, maybe it'll focus, probably not. But that's what it did to the screw. Here's a leg piece that got some of the stripper in. All that stuff. So yeah. That's what it did. Um, here's the other stripper, which I think did a fantastic job on the pieces. I figured this stripper would do, be more damaging than the orange stuff. But like, if you look at the screw on the orange stuff, or um, the clear stripper, which it was, uh, let me go get the stripper's name. Uh, name the premium clean strip uh the premium stripper it did wonders on this figure didn't leave too much behind even oh, i said there might be stripper in those uh the crevices and uh doesn't look like there was much left on there even if it was it doesn't show it's not like hardened on there and it didn't destroy any of the the plastic on the line as long as you're like i think cleaning behind this stripper uh i don't think much is going to be damaged so so you would apply the stripper until the paint runs off and then um once it runs off, you would uh, wipe it down with a tap to make sure. But like right in here, I think this is about the only place is right in that that groove area right there. I guess it was left and it's kind of brownish in there. I don't know that if that's because of the stripper or if that's just the way the plastic was molded because I'm not seeing the same effect on this arm. So or even underneath the leg pieces right there. So like those joint pieces right there, I'm not seeing any brown. It's just that arm. So it could be the stripper, it could not be the stripper. But like a lot of that orange stripper, the orange, the citrus orange stripper was left a lot behind and a lot to be desired on it. So we have the orange stripper and I think it probably does less damage on certain things. So I'm not too worried about it, especially with how well this one did. Maybe different types of plastic react differently to this kind of stripper. So we'll go along eventually when we strip more models and do, we'll tell which one does more. And like I said, I'm pretty sure this does more damage. It just didn't do it to that figure. And that, that's because I went behind as you, if you did watch the video, I went behind and wiped majority of the stripper as I applied it. So it's not like I left it sitting in the stripper. So maybe we should grab the other two and fill a little thing full and leave them in the stripper uh, overnight to see how much, or even like for 24 hours, maybe a week and see how much damage it does. But until then, uh, I really suggest this stripper, but that's not what you're here for. We're here for the introduction into paint. So I'm going to be using uh, different types of areas of paint. So it's not like I have a specific type, 
but none of these paints are like cathedral paints or anything big. They're basically from Walmart. <laughs> these paints are not something special. So I don't, I haven't bought any cathedral paints or any modeling paints. Most of these are just matte acrylic paints. So, uh, yeah, that's what we're uh, mostly using. So we, we got a lot of apple barrel paints. So as you can see, I have a lot of apple barrel. So this is like jet black. So we're gonna be using a lot of this jet black to uh, clean up around the boots right there. If we, if we paint the boots black. Uh, uh, I don't know what color we'll be going applying the, um, boots as but i'm gonna have to pull up uh pictures of the two figures to kind of base what they color schemes they had it on it i don't know if i want to deviate from the, that i could deviate and paint my own type uh look up my own type of special figure figures uh he's got kind of a rainbow look for him so i could look up um say a predator uh from uh arnold schwarzenegger in the jungle i could look up rambo himself and probably based off of that He's got more of a Spec Ops kind of feel to him. So what I am going to have to do with him, though, is I'm going to have to go back through with a toothpick and kind of pick out all the orange stuff that was left, or the orange uh, stripper that was left behind before I even attempt to try to paint him. Because I know if I try to paint him with that orange stripper on, it's going to interfere with applying the paint. Or should I make that mistake and apply the paint and see where that goes? But yeah, April Barrel. So those are one of the types of paints I have. More Apple Barrel, multi-surface, satin. And then I have these uh, metallic fork flirt, flirt, as you can see on there. That's what it says. Don't exactly but uh folk furt folk furt i want to say folk furt uh paints here acrylic paints i got i'm pretty much had these on hand uh these are from uh, wife buying them and all that stuff so most of these like i said at walmart maybe at home depot you can get those or even uh lowe's so I've seen some of those. And then we do have accent pen liner and stuff like that. We have a couple thinners. So I'm gonna try to use some thinners, maybe try to thin out the paint, not make it as heavy and thick. So hopefully that'll work with just applying different coats. So we're gonna work in coats here and we're gonna try to apply different coats. We're not just gonna apply a thick coat to see where that leads us. Cause I know uh, these aren't big figures and if I apply too much coat it's just going to be thick on there and i'm not trying to go for that aspect so like on these hands right here we're to work on the skin and just apply a thick coat uh not a thick coat but like a thin coat to it to try to get the skin to like basically reflect skin you know different types of skin it's not just my color of skin it'll be i'm, I'm probably paint these two figures in two different types of skin to practice on different types of skin. So it's it's not like I'm gonna be picking my skin to paint every figure. So it's, it's gonna be different types of skin because you, you gotta work on different types of skin. So we'll work on that. And pretty much from there, figure out what types of colors we're gonna go with. So I this is where I'm gonna be making mistakes. Should I? paint like the just should I start with a black and start painting all the colors black and then work my way from there and then paint the parts the skin color or or and then work on painting the a accents afterwards so obviously we're going to work on painting accents afterwards and apply the accent colors afterwards so majority we're going to have to Figure out the main color scheme because that's a couple of videos I've seen with painting. That's what they do. They figure out um, basic what's the main color of the figure. 
So are, are we going with a green? Are we going with a black? Are we going with that? So if we are gonna go with a black, most of the torso is gonna already be covered in black. So there's no point in applying black color if most of the torso is gonna be black. Now these are obviously green, so we're gonna to have to apply a black color to these if we wanna paint something black on these. So that's how that's gonna work. We'll see when we get in there. I'm not an expert. I've not even really painted beforehand. I've never painted figures. I don't do this. This is not something I've done. This is the first time I will be painting a figure. You guys are gonna see my mistakes. This is the reason why I'm gonna be doing it. So it'll help some beginners to watch somebody mess up and see the mess up. It may help some, it may not help some. So that's how it's gonna work. But you can look, find this video on YouTube or any other platform I load to, which I, I think I upload to Rumble right now. I'm trying to figure out other platforms to load up to. There's not many out there. Not many that get the views and the reach that YouTube does. So right now, main hub, YouTube, you can find this video. If you Google search it, hopefully it'll pop up. But most, most videos that you find on YouTube are consistent with a, an amateur painter or somebody who's done this before. I have not done this before. Let me iterate that. So if you don't feel like I have the skills, which I do not, and you don't feel like watching some amateur <laughs> go at it, then this is not probably the video that you need to watch. But this is to show that I can physically, not physically, but attempt at this and see where I, and you're gonna see me mess up, but this is where we're gonna mess up and we're gonna keep these figures along. I'm not gonna get rid of them. They're still gonna still be here. And then when I get more skill and become a little bit better, we'll revisit them. We've learned that I can strip these. I've learned that I can strip these. So it's not like I can't just re-strip them. Yeah, it may cause damage to the figure and maybe I'll have to eventually down the road replace those figures. But that's the way of life. But these figures are not expensively hard to get a hold of. Uh, there might be hard to get a hold of because I might not be able to get these exact figures, but they weren't expensive. These were like $2, maybe four. So like they're not expensive to lose. They're not gonna hurt the pay bank. They're not gonna hurt the collection if I lose these figures because I applied too much stripper to them and the stripper ate the figure. So that's why I'm doing it. That's why I'm keeping these around to practice on. This is my first ever attempt to actually paint something, right? Instead of just going out, buying a Warhammer figure and applying paint to it and calling it a day. I will do that eventually. It's just not something I really want to try to attempt because Warhammer figures are not cheap. And it, 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 you end up in the same scenario where you have to strip the paint or you have to paint over the paint. And painting over paint just applies more layers, which is going to cake on layers. So you have to, to get the finer details, you have to go and apply different types. I don't have, like, so with these, I'm not going to be able to have clips. Sorry. I don't have clips for these. I don't have the the painter's putty that they stick them on and they uh, uh, paint that way. A lot of people, they do, they have, they've went out and got those. I didn't grab those supplies. So this is me using just the paints that I bought at Walmart, some paint brushes I bought in some other places, Walmart. I think I bought some in Dollar Tree. I bought uh, a good set at Hobby Lobby, but I don't think I will be using those. I'll be using the cheap paint brushes to work on these figures. This is supposed to be me painting on a budget or as a beginner because most beginners don't want to go out there and spend 40, 50, 70 bucks on getting painting supplies just so that they can just screw up. 
right? So this is me painting on a budget and being wiser to go get the budget or things. Yeah, I could have gone out there and got the $40, $50 painting supplies, tried it, failed, and then been like, this is what you really should do on a budget is go out and get these. This is more directed for those people who can't or want to try painting, but don't want to really mess up or even follow along. You could follow along and make the same mistakes I do. I, I learn from making mistakes. Life is hard. You learn better if you're making those mistakes. So with that all said, me going through that whole long explanation of 15 minutes of me explaining that I'm going to paint this figure, let me get into it. Let me start it off. I hope you guys follow along. I appreciate you sticking by this 15 minute monologue and let's get into it. I'll readjust the camera and we'll be right back.
guys welcome a uh, little mid cut here um while i'm working on this i'm trying to put it together but this is going to probably come out really really bad so uh as a so let's let's go into this on a couple of things while i've learned while painting i've looked up a couple of videos while i've been painting uh this model paint is definitely not or not even model paint this paint is not really made for models if i didn't state that already i kind of knew that but you know i'm working with what i have and was able to get a hold of this model paint as you can see as i've been probably painting over here on this uh cardboard here um it sticks well to other things like like cardboard stuff like that uh probably uh and it, it this it doesn't even really stick to the mat over here so like i'd say plastic stuff like this so like what what i can do with this is i can just take my finger and scratch it off so it's not really like consistent with on how well it sticks to something so like with this, you can tell I tried doing a thin coat of that and it it, it shows the black through and it, it's not really stuck. So like I did right there, I wiped the paint off, right? So it's not really sticking to the thing. But mainly what this is, is about is me trying to figure out a nice consistency between thinner and all that other stuff. Um... But yeah, so with the painting, so I, I applied it on the arm. It looks good when it sticks, right? But it doesn't stay too well. So like I can literally just take my fingernail, run it across and stuff. And then in the case of right here, it just doesn't apply to like coating it very well. The black does, the black coats very well. But what I'm doing is I'm just experimenting right now. So that's what this is all about, right? So it's just about experimenting and trying to figure out exactly how you're going to uh, apply these paints to something, right? So like in the case of this, 
I wouldn't apply this to plastic figures, these, this paint right here, because it's not really conducive for the plastic figures. I'm still gonna, I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna try to get these as best well painted as I can, which is not very well, because like, if you see in his face right there, it's not really coated very well. And the, in order to get the eye white and stuff like that. So basically it's going to look like <laughs> worse than the figure I got and got it by, right? So, cause I'm, I really don't have too much in the way of like the paint, successful paint, right? Cause as I put it right here, the, the paint's not being very successful with me in applying onto the plastic itself and staying on the plastic. So I'm gonna try to get these better, uh, better coated and better stuff, but I'm still gonna be working on these and still trying to figure out how I can get the paint to actually stick to these figures and still have a complete and total success for it. But just quick, a quick note on that I, I just wanted to iterate these are not the paints you should be using period we, i just figured it out well i didn't just figure it out i kind of watched a video that said that and it, it's also iterating in that i can't i'm having trouble finding the right consistency between thinner and uh paint itself to apply to the figure right um, so in, in, it's not really applying that great. So like right in here, it applied, but I can still scrape, scrape it off. Right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wash most of this paint out. Right, because I've been trying to apply a thinner and stuff like that. And what I'm going to do is come back and redo the paint in here and not apply any thinners. Maybe that'll work and we'll try it without thinners. So I've, I've, I'm, I'm working on a different direction because I think these gloves right here that I applied, they didn't have any thinner in them when I paint it on. I can still scrape the paint off with uh, with my finger and all that stuff. So we'll have to see. Uh, I'm gonna still work on it. I just wanted to put a mid cut here and uh, say if I didn't already, these are not the paints that would successfully coat a figure to make these look extraordinary, right? It's because they're not really, the paint is not too thin, I would say. And then using thinner, I, I, I don't know kind of what I'm doing wrong. I do and I don't, right? So when I apply the thinner, it thickens up this kind of paint. I thought it would like thin the paint, but it, it thickens it. So I, I, I add more paint to try to figure out if it's just because I don't have enough paint or whatever. And I'm, I'm discovering that's probably the case. I don't have enough of paint. Maybe I should get some uh, vials and add two parts thinner or one part thinner and two parts paint to it and try to make my own paint with it, you know. But I, I just a few thoughts in my head right now as I'm going through this. I'm going to finish majority of this. I'm going to work with the greens and the blacks and the, the beige and try to apply it to the figure. And then after that, I'll try to put some highlights in there and uh, we'll call it on that one and be like, agreed. <laughs> zero uh, uh one out of ten and as of right now i'm gonna give it a zero, negative one i'm at a negative one on uh this the painting aspect but also this is not to 
figure it's also to figure out how to work with paints and also to work on brushing techniques how to you know just basically brushing applying paint in that astro aspect and stuff like yeah i know this is probably not the proper paint to you well, i do know it's not the proper paint to use but you still have to use something and going out and buying $15 paint and not knowing how to use a paintbrush or brush it on or any of that aspect, it's not going to really help all too much about it. So, little interjection here. Uh, if you can, midway point, please leave a like, subscribe. If you want to head on out, I understand. But uh, this is, uh, I'm going to get back to it and we'll see where we end up. Alrighty guys, we are back. I got done finished painting this guy. As you can see, it's not really that great. So we'll end up eventually, you know, stripping this back off and doing the do to it. I like the skin color I came out. So I mixed a couple paints to try to find a skin color on it. And I love the skin color, the way the, the, way the color came out. And a couple of the arms I put, uh, some paint on it as if he's camouflaged his arms and stuff like that. So we'll end up getting it together. I'm gonna make sure it's fully dried and set. Uh, the paints, like I said, not the greatest paint. It could probably just be scratched off with your fingertip. I didn't do face details, as you can tell. I didn't do the um, top scarf that's around his head. So there's a lot of details that could be uh, reapplied and redone and re-administered to. So um, once we get that a going, I'll, I'll work on that. Uh, there's a lot of mistakes that were made, a lot of paintbrush trying to get into the corners. I've been doing a lot of like overlapping, so like... I would brush some of the green and it would overlap into the black 
take the black, try to overlap it to fix it, but it would overlap into the green. So I was doing a lot of overlapping. So I was painting a lot of just the same spots over and over and over again. So what we did is just um, fix that and then uh, moved on from there. Um, yeah, so we have a lot to fix on them uh i'm not too concerned we can easily go back and fix the problems which we we can do which will end up happening eventually down the road so yeah those are uh, things that need to be done with the figure sorry i was put, trying to put this back together <laughs> i got stuck so that's that's the plan uh like i said uh as the paint job as a rating uh i would give it uh, probably a one out of ten zero out of ten because it's not the best paint job but like i said i gotta start somewhere learning how to deal with paint and all that stuff and uh cleaning paint and all all that has to do cleaning your brushes maintaining your brushes how to use br proper brush strokes just get getting hands on right you, you can't learn unless you get some hands on you can watch all the videos all you want you can do like all the research read all the books as long as you're not get uh, if you're not getting some hands on work done then you're not going to really learn anything so I'm going to throw these uh, back together and give you a complete look of them together. And then um, we'll end the video there. And then uh, after that, we'll, uh, next week's probably going to be a model kit. So we'll throw together a model kit and uh, all that. Because I didn't expect the paint, uh, the painting not... or. I expected it to take longer than that, but uh, my skills are not up to par to try to spread this out for three days and try to get every little detail right and correct because I would be here for three days washing and doing and stripping and re-stripping, uh, applying and all that stuff. So um, some basic things that I did learn on a couple of videos that I did watch or one video I did walk it, watch in particular, um, I should have primed them and I should have sanded them. Number one, that's a uh, step one. And I don't, I've washed these a couple times, so they've been washed. So it's not like washing did the biggest thing to them. Step, uh, n uh, mistake number two, using the wrong paints. Using the wrong paints, like those acrylic paints and stuff like that, that's not made, these acrylic paints are not made for models and plastic. They are made for dioramas, stuff that stands still, that you can coat, that's not going to be moving. Because with the thick coat of paint like this, if it's moving, it's going to rub off really, really easy. So, you're going to be able to see the under a coat of it and all that stuff especially with this you can see right there in the mistakes in itself around the rims of his uh shirt collar and all that stuff um i didn't want to do details because like with him you as you can see i did pretty good on fixing a little bit around the skin but it's not perfect it, it, the details are so fine and minute that it's really hard to get in there and if without the proper paint brushes, you're probably not going to get in there to actually rim around those uh, the this uh, balaclava to try to get it, especially even even on the shirt sleeves in themselves, as you can see, even in the shirt sleeves, it's hard to get around those rims to try to get the uh, uh, perfect things. Right there, you can see on the hand how how some of the skin, uh, paint skin and uh, skin paint uh, got onto the gloves and stuff like that. And then I would have to go back and reapply black, and then I would get black on the skin and all that stuff. So um, it was very difficult, very difficult to try to uh, try to get the minute details and stuff like that. 
But let me get these figures back together and then we'll continue on explaining what's going on. Alrighty guys, we are back. Uh, we just finished up with the two figures and you can see, let's pull the light up here so you guys can see the, the shade on them. They're pretty dark, so I got them pretty dark. A uh, couple of them, you can see, uh, we don't have those bright silvers or black bright golds and stuff there. There's some, a few like bright spots from where the paints have peeled off, but I like it because where the paint peeled off, it look, gives kind of that camo look with the dark some areas, light some other areas. Um, I'm ha kind of happy the way they turned out because you can see uh, the paint chipping off on this one. So as as you can see, it's it's had time to dry. It's not as sticky as it once was, but they are pretty um, susceptible, let's say. I didn't do the faces because I don't... Uh, I don't feel confident enough to get their faces not looking the way they have their faces. You get what I'm saying? Like, I, I don't feel like I can feel that tiny little spot in his eyes to make white and then put a black dot there to make something. Because it's going to take a lot of effort to try to get these guys' eyes correct. Um, and the paint that I was using was not that great of a paint. Uh... As you can see with the knee right there, I don't know if you can see the, but the paint chipped off. So what we've discovered at the end, we made a lot of mistakes, a lot of mistakes. Number one mistake, these are not the paints to be using, right? So I, I stated that in the midway video and I'm gonna state that now. Do not go out there and grab a bunch of these paints and think you're gonna uh, paint up on some really not, or, you're really good figures with that paint. You want to get the right modeling paint, right? You want to go to an, a, an actual modeling store and get some modeling paint. You want to look up online and get some modeling. Paint. The arts and crafts paint are just for arts and crafts. And these are arts and crafts. So these aren't like, oh, award-winning figures. These are just practice figures, right? That take regular paint like that, that's pretty cheap, pretty viable, and be able to take them and be able to practice brush strokes on painting from down here on up, right? You want to learn how to do your strokes. You don't want to paint across. You want to see where your brush motion, how you look with your brush strokes and all, all that stuff. You don't want like to paint the Buddha at the top sideways and then paint the bottom a different way. But I do like the way the color scheme that I came out. I figured out while I was painting, right? So as I was doing it, um, to darken the green, right? So I started darkening the drink green and just started tabbing, with, uh, dabbing with the brush. And it helped a lot to blend in all this black with this green, right? So that's, that's one way I ended up getting able to be able to uh blend a lot of this uh green in with uh the black so it was kind of a black mystery i figured out that the black sticked a lot better so like this black here stuck a lot better but even though now it's chipping pretty bad so but you can see i've only moved these a few times just in recently and they're already starting to the peel with the paint and stuff so it's not going to be hard to peel, uh, get the paint off of these. So it's just, uh, it was a practice. It was a test try and, uh, we will be getting better paint. So that's, uh, that's the next objective is to get some better paint, uh, make an allowance for some good paint and, uh, try to get a hold of some, uh, I'm going to try to go for the primary colors, uh, red, uh, yellow and blue. I think those are the primary <laughs> But uh, I'm gonna get those, and then whites and blacks. So we're gonna we're end up getting hopefully five paints. It's not gonna cost us arm and leg, which it probably will. But you know, we're not trying to get into enamel, so I'm gonna try some find some modeling acrylic paint. I think Hobby Lobby has maybe enamel paints in the section. I don't know. I haven't sifted through their paint too much, but. 
we'll figure it out. We'll get a hold of some uh, good paint and then we'll uh, revisit these guys later. Yeah, so um, with that, we ended up uh, doing that. So we'll end up trying to get some better paint later uh, uh, down the road. And hopefully we can start getting uh, these model uh, paints figured. Uh, they didn't vent, uh, that paint also did not blend very well with these acrylic paints. I think I might have switched them. I'm not sure. I started thinking about it. Maybe I switched the thinner with the uh, cleaner. But um, when I applied the thinner, what I thought was the cleaner, it would clump up into a really big clump. So I think that might have been the cleaner, but I'm not sure. And then the uh, the cleaner, when I was trying to clean my brushes, they would uh, it would just sit in the water. So may I, I'm thinking maybe or sit in the thinner and little chips of it would kind of come off. But I, I, I'm pretty sure I might have mixed them up. But um, yeah, so. Uh, Thinning out that, but as I know, that that thinner did not cooperate very well with um, the paint. So it didn't thin out the paint that I needed. And um, also, well, that you could say that was number two. The uh, thinner and paint didn't really cooperate well. Number three, um, what was I going to say? Number three, um, okay, number three is um, the paint from where it, there was no thinning, I really didn't apply layers. So there wasn't much layers to add to these. I didn't take my, I didn't take my time. Let's say it, number three and number four. So number three, didn't take the time. And number four, I didn't apply layers like I should have. Like, I should have done one layer. So, the way it should have worked, which is also what helped with the, the technique and things, is um, when I was painting, I just paint and I go to a different color. I shouldn't have done that. Should have painted, started with black, went through, applied everything that's black, and then waited, applied another layer, and then applied another layer, and then plot another layer until the layers were good. Um, that's probably why it's getting some really bad shipping going on. It's because there's not layers on it and stuff like that. And that's why the brush strikes, strokes come in handy too. So when you're applying the layer, if you get short brush sto strokes, you're not gonna even you're not gonna get an even coat. So like in the case of like I apply it right here, but I stop right there. It's going to be easier to chip down here where I stopped. And so it's going to cause a lot of things. If I have a complete even thing, if it chips, it's going to be up here. And it's going to have to uh, kind of basically rub off the rest of it and stuff like that. But yeah, that's also part of what the technique is learning how to apply your layers and how many layers you're going to need and all that stuff which I can't do effectively with this kind of paint because this paint is obviously not the paint for figures, right? Which I'm not upset about this. So you know, do not get me wrong. I'm not upset for taking that paint and trying with something because you learn better when you try. So I'm not upset. I'm not telling you guys to go out there and buy paint and uh, all that stuff. But if you want to try to make mistakes, if you sit, find yourself just sitting around not doing anything, it's probably something you want to do is just go out there, make those mistakes, right? At least you're doing something and you're learning something by experience. You're not just sitting there trying to fiddle around, watch videos over and over and over and over again. At least you're applying something to it. So eventually down the road when you actually are able to get some decently done paint or all that stuff, you can apply, you're not scared to apply. I've been intimidated by doing panel lining. I think with this, I will be able to actually attempt some panel lining and some shading on my gunnel fingers. So that is what it is. I think uh, probably next week's modeling video is either gonna consist of a modeling kit or it's gonna consist of me putting the stickers on this guy back here. So uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna work on trying to put stickers on him.
and apply that. I don't know if I'll do that on camera or off camera. I'll probably majority off camera and all that stuff. But yeah, that's the plan. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you stuck with the video and watched it all the way through, I really do appreciate it. Um, I try to speed up as much as I can. So hopefully this video isn't too long. It's really quick and uh, all that stuff. But you guys got to see me attempt these two figures in paint. So, um, as I said, this is a video wasn't about trying to promote those, uh, Walmart paints or the apple barrels and stuff like that. I just, as I stated before, those are not the best, uh, paints that you want to do with figures, action figures, or models in, in general. You want to go and get you some modeling paint. But if you want to practice, these were like $4 and the paints were like, what 10 15 dollars so you're you're spending a total of 20 dollars when you go to another place and you're spending 15 20 dollars on three paints or two paints modeling paints and you're not even getting all the colors that you need to actually to try to paint your model so the hobby is steep it's hard to get into but as you wait it uh wait it out you can get some plastic figures and work on paint brushings and as I said it's better to be doing something and learning from mistakes than sitting around not doing anything and not learning anything and just watching videos you you can kind of learn from videos but you're not you're not going to get no experience from it you're not you're, you're not doing everyone says you gotta do you gotta do so this is doing applying crappy paints to crappy figures to learn a little bit about painting i have zero experience this is probably my first time attempting to paint any kind of action figures but i did it i went out and done it and i don't think they came out too bad maybe i didn't put the details onto them but i i, I do believe the color scheme it helped me work with skin, color scheme it helped me even blend paint this peach or the skin color is not from a, a paint that I have over here. It's from me mixing a couple paints together to find that color skin, right? So I'm pretty ec ecstatic about the color itself on that skin and stuff like that. But it's, that's not too hard. You can just figure it out by looking online. That's all I did, skin color mixture, paint mixture. And it popped up a bunch, but it doesn't tell you the amounts, right? It just shows you Add a bunch of this, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. And then I messed around with it and I found my own variant of it, right? Because it just doesn't always turn out to be this color or even a darker color if you want it to. Because if you're trying to go for a darker color or maybe even like a different type of color. Because at one point I had like a dark, dark, dark grayish looking kind of color, uh, br brownish grayish. And it looked pretty good itself. So I had two different types of skin colors going on. And I really li liked it. And that's... I love... I love the mixing of the paint to make a different skin colors, right? They're pretty cool to find different colors of skin. And because you can... That's when you get to have fun and mix paint. You, you don't often get to mix paint. So sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. But like even with uh, the green right here. That's not the original two greens that I had. I darkened it up. I ended up adding some black to it and it got darker and I liked it because it, it blends really well with the black on that dark green. And these guys are not uh, traditional, like they don't look traditional, just soldiers. They look like they're out on a spec off mission and stuff like that. I mean, when we get better modeling paint, I probably will end up painting these in a traditional sense. I'll, I'll try both. Like, I'll try them as the spec guys, and then I'll try them as um, some uh, elite commando guys. So, that's just for the future and stuff like that and to be working on. And I'm sad I lost this guy's arm, but it's not a big thing we can probably go to uh, another store and pick up another two sets of these guys and we can move on and then i can kind of make a battle scene with this guy getting tagged up and all that stuff um 
we didn't get the chance to work on the uh the weapons here so we we do they do come to with two uh uh assault uh um to an m16 and an m4 so i can tell you exactly the models of these uh this is a a1 and this is a uh m4 a1 and then it's got a um a 203 attachment to it so um so uh yeah we didn't get to try to highlight these guys it would have been cool I should have tried to give it a shot and paint a little gray onto these and see if that would go well. But I just wanted to test out these figures and get some paint on those. And um, I, w I was getting a, I was getting a little frustrated with the paint itself because this is not the paint that you should be using and stuff like that. Am I going to stop using that paint on little dumb figures like this? No. I'm going to give it another try. I'm going to give it another mix and stuff like that and try to see if I can get these to actually apply to figures and stuff like that. And so it's a, a, a little uh, personal goal I want to try to do, see if I can get really good with crappy paint, right? I'm not saying just because it's it's crappy to work with doesn't mean it's not going to ever work or it will work. So we'll figure along down the road. It may not work, but that's just what I want to do with pra practicing, practicing uh, painting and uh, actually working on models itself to end up making myself a better, better modeler and stuff like that. But I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. If you did stick around for all that rant and raving and uh, all that, I do appreciate it. I appreciate you watching the video. Please leave a like. Subscribe if you can. We are, uh, as of right now, this video, uh, we are one away from uh, 20. And I really appreciate that. And 20 is a big marker for myself. Uh, as of right now, it's just 20... Uh, 20 uh, 20 subs but hopefully we can up and up and up so if you do come across the video i do appreciate you sticking around and watching the video i really do appreciate that appreciate that one and then if you guys just kind of film through it and stuff like that i do appreciate that as well any any kind of positive light that you can have on the video it always helps I'm, i am building up the channel to bring in more people and hopefully better content and better uh editing and all that stuff I, I do edit my own videos and if you guys uh like them please leave a like subscribe and if i appreciate anybody that stick along stick along and come back to the video every single day um i have more ch uh, videos on the channel uh there will probably be a couple uh links in, um, after the video uh if you want to go check them out, I do different types of stuff, different type of content uh, at, for each day of the week to give some kind of variety or stuff like that. But I appreciate you guys, and you guys take it easy. Peace. Okay, number three is um, the paint from where it, there was no thinning. I really didn't apply layers. So there wasn't much layers to add to these. I didn't take my... I didn't take my time. Let's say uh, number three and number four. So number three didn't take the time, and number four I didn't apply layers like I should have. Like I should have done one layer. So the way it should have worked, which is also what should help with the the technique and things, is um, when I was painting, I just paint and I go to a different color. I shouldn't have done that. Should have painted started with black went through, applied everything that's black, and then waited, applied another layer, and then applied another layer, and then applied another layer until the layers were good. Um, that's probably why it's getting some really bad shipping going on. It's because there's not layers on it and stuff like that. And that's why the brush strokes, strokes come in handy too. So when you're applying the layer, if you get short brush sto strokes, you're not going to even you're not going to get an even coat. So like in the case of like, I apply it right here, but I stop right there. It's going to be easier to chip 
down here where I stopped. And so it's going to cause a lot of things. If I have a complete even thing, if it chips, it's going to be up here. And it's going to have to uh, kind of basically rub off the rest of it and stuff like that. But yeah, that's also part of what the technique is learning how to apply your layers and how many layers you're going to need and all that stuff. Which I can't do effectively with this kind of paint because this paint is obviously not the paint for figures, right? Which I'm not upset about this. So, you know, do not get me wrong. I'm not upset for taking that paint and trying with something because you learn better when you try. So I'm not upset. I'm not telling you guys to go out there and buy paint and uh, all that stuff. But if you want to try to make mistakes, if you sit, find yourself just sitting around not doing anything, it's probably something you want to do is just go out there, make those mistakes, right? At least you're doing something and you're learning something by experience. You're not just sitting there trying to fiddle around, watch videos over and over and over and over again. At least you're applying something to it. So eventually down the road, when you actually are able to get some decently done paint or all that stuff, you can apply, you're not scared to apply. I've been intimidated by doing panel lining. I think with this, I will be able to actually attempt some panel lining and some shading on my gun fingers. So that is what it is. I think uh, probably next week's modeling video is either gonna consist of a modeling kit or it's gonna consist of me putting the stickers on this guy back here. So uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna work on trying to put stickers on him and apply that. Don't know if I'll do that on camera or off camera. Probably majority off camera and all that stuff. But yeah, that's the plan. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you stuck with the video and watched it all the way through, I really do appreciate it. Um, I try to speed up as much as I can. So hopefully this video isn't too long. It's really quick and uh, all that stuff. But you guys got to see me attempt these two figures in paint. So um as I said, this is a video wasn't about trying to promote those uh, Walmart paints or the Apple barrels and stuff like that. I just, as I stated before, those are not the be uh, paints that you want to do with figures, action figures, or models in, in general. You want to go and get you some modeling paint. But if you want to practice, these were like $4 and the paints were like, what, $10, $15. So you're, you're spending a total of $20 when you go to another place and you're spending $15, $20 on three paints or two paints, modeling paints, and you're not even getting all the colors that you need to actually uh, try to paint your model. So the hobby is steep. It's hard to get into, but as you wait it, uh, wait it out, you can get some plastic figures and work on paint brushings and as i said it's better to be doing something and learning from mistakes than sitting around not doing anything and not learning anything and just watching videos you you can kind of learn from videos but you're not you're not going to get no experience from it you're not you're, you're not doing everyone says you gotta do you gotta do so this is doing applying crappy paints to crappy figures to learn a little bit about painting. I have zero experience. This is probably my first time attempting to paint any kind of action figures, but I did it. I went out and done it. And I don't think they came out too bad. Maybe I didn't put the details onto them, but I, I, I do believe the color scheme it helped me work with skin, color scheme, it helped me even blend paint. This peach or the skin color is not from a, a paint that I have over here. It's from me mixing a couple of paints together to find that color skin, right? So I'm pretty ec ecstatic about the color itself on that skin and stuff like that. But it's, that's not too hard. You can just figure it out by looking online. That's all I did, skin color mixture, paint mixture. And it popped up a bunch, but it doesn't tell you the amounts, right? It just shows you add a bunch of this, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. And then I messed around with it and I found my own variant of it, right? Because it just doesn't always turn out to be this color or even a darker color if you want it to. 
because if you're trying to go for a darker color or maybe even like a different type of color because at one point i had like a dark 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 grayish looking kind of color uh br brownish grayish and it looked pretty good itself so i had two different types of skin colors going on and i really li liked it and that's i love I love the mixing of the paint to make a different skin colors, right? They're pretty cool to find different colors of skin. And it, cause you can, that's when you get to have fun and mix paint. You, you don't often get to mix paint. So sometimes you do, sometimes you don't, but like even with uh, the green right here, that's not the original two greens that I had. I darkened it up. I ended up adding some black to it and it got darker. And I liked it because it, it blend really well with the black on that dark green. And these guys are not uh, traditional. Like, they don't look traditional just soldiers. They look like they're out on a spec off mission and stuff like that. I mean, when we get better modeling paint, I probably will end up painting these in a traditional sense. I'll, I'll try both. Like, I'll try them as the spec guys, and then I'll try them as um, some uh, elite commando guys. So that's just for the future and stuff like that and to be working on. And I'm sad I lost this guy's arm, but it's not a big thing. We can probably go to uh, another store and pick up another two sets of these guys, and we can move on. And then I can kind of make a battle scene with this guy getting tagged up and all that stuff um we didn't get the chance to work on the uh the weapons here so we we did they do come to with two uh uh assault uh um two, an m16 and an m4 so i can tell you exactly the models of these uh this is an a1 and this is uh uh m4 a1 and then it's got a um a 203 attachment to it so um so uh yeah we didn't get to try to highlight these guys it would have been cool i, I should have uh, tried to give it a shot and paint a little gray onto these and see if that would go well but i just wanted to test out these figures and get some paint on those and um uh, I, I was getting a uh, I was getting a little frustrated with the paint itself because this is not the paint that you should be using and stuff like that. Am I going to stop using that paint on little dumb figures like this? No, I'm going to give it another try. I'm going to give it another mix and stuff like that and try to see if I can get these to actually apply to figures and stuff like that. And so it's a, a, a little uh, personal goal I want to try to do, see if I can get really good with crappy paint right i'm not saying it, it, just because it's it's crappy to work with doesn't mean it's not gonna ever work or it will work so we'll figure along down the road it may not work but that's just what i want to do with pra practicing practicing uh painting and uh, actually working on models itself Get to end up making myself a better better modeler and stuff like that but I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. If you did stick around for all that rant and raving and uh, all that, I do appreciate it. I appreciate you watching the video. Please leave a like. Subscribe if you can. We are, uh, as of right now, of this video, uh, we are one away from uh, 20. And I really appreciate that. 20 is a big marker for myself. Uh as of right now, it's just 20, uh, 20, uh, 20 subs, but hopefully we can up and up and up. So if you do come across the video, I do appreciate you sticking around and watching the video. I really do appreciate that, appreciate that one. And then if you guys just kind of film through it and stuff like that, I do appreciate that as well. Any, any kind of positive light that you can have on the video, it always helps. I'm, I am building up the channel to bring in more people and hopefully better content and better uh, editing and all that stuff. I, I do edit my own videos and if you guys uh, like them, please leave a like, subscribe, and 
if I appreciate anybody that stick along, stick along and come back to the video every single day. Um, I have more ch uh, videos on the channel. Uh, there'll probably be a couple uh, links in, uh, after the video. Uh, if you want to go check them out, I do different types of stuff, different type of content uh, at, for each day of the week to give some kind of variety or stuff like that. But I appreciate you guys, and you guys take it easy. Peace.